everyone welcome back to my youtube and today i'm just going to be doing a temporary cage tour of barry's savic hampstead heaven hi so at the bottom here we have a little um label that i made for her cage saying barry because that's her name and a few little berries as a symbol and then here is the the base of our cage it's quite deep and then here's her whole cage I like this bit at the front because you can take lots of things out of here easily and you don't have to take the top off also we have her little hideout here which has three entrances here here as you can see and behind that little thing I think if I there and there and then we have her water bowl i do clean this regularly as i know that um you need to be cleaning water bowls regularly if you have them especially as my area is really dusty i need to clean mine up while she before she wakes up coming here to the front we have a grapevine um stick that i got from my garden which is safe hamsters a little toy with a bell in it, another little toy with a bell in it, and a pine cone that I got from the woods, which is which I've sanitised. Then we have a little stick, which I don't really know what was the point of me buying it. I just wanted to buy it. And then I have this little terracotta pot which I put in here to just make it a little more naturalistic even though it's not right now but I sometimes hide food in here and it gives her a little bit more ways to scavenge and then we have her kebab which I bought the other day and I put her vegetables in here when it's vegetable day and put some fruits in there and she loves to like work she doesn't love to do it but it's good for her to work for her food and yeah, I'll definitely recommend buying one of these. I'll probably put the link down below in the description. Then we have oh, this is in the way, I'll move it. Then we have our sand bath. Um this little tray is just from Lidl, it's meant to be a lasagna tray, a little lasagna or pasta baked tray, but I just like to use it as a sand bath because it is quite deep and quite wide enough for her to be like fit in and yeah also I have this little well it's not really little medium sized wooden bendy bridge over the top I really want to get pillow moss because as you can see there are some gaps which I want to fill and I have that over there to give her some privacy as I've researched that they need some privacy while they're in their sandbox Next we have this wheel, which I've featured in many of my videos, so I don't really need to talk about this much. Then I have her little barrier, which I built, my dad built, because it separates most of the bedding from the wheel, which is nice. Then moving over to the corner, I have lots of bedding, which is confetti. Um, bedding from I think it's Carefresh and I have a little tunnel which I stuck in here this morning for her to burrow in to help her burrow then I have another pine cone and one of the another of them bell toys so that was it for the Cage. hope you enjoyed it i am going to start to plan a naturalistic cage and i probably am gonna do a video where i plan it and then a part two where i actually make this into a naturalistic cage i also would like to have more bedding in here because when i put the bedding in it seems a lot and then it just seems to like go down when i put after i put it in there it's probably because she steps on it but when I do her cage every month, it seems like a lot. And then 
it drops down so I will be putting more bedding in there and yeah So I hope you enjoyed that video. I will be doing another video in the future another video in the future of our cage. But make sure to like and subscribe and I probably will be doing another pet updates, but I've already filmed a cats and hamsters video, it should be up soon. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye!